Hello, Gary. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? It's nice to be here with you. Oh, likewise, and thank you so much. To get this segment started, I have a question for you. Early on, how did your love for Paris begin? <laughs> how did my love for Paris begin? It began in the Cancun, Mexico airport terminal. It was there that I met a beautiful young French girl named Dominique. We sat together on the plane going back to Mexico City. She had been there on vacation. I was on business. Uh, I had business further on after Mexico City, but I said, if I get back tonight, you want to have a drink together? Mm -hmm. She was with her friend. Mm -hmm. So I came back. We had a drink together. Four weeks later, we had dinner together at the Plaza Athene in Paris. That's where our love began. It continued. She became my wife, and we've been together for a long time. So that's how my love for Paris <laughs> began. It is the city of love, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So since we've covered your love for Paris, how did you become interested in photography? Actually, I became interested in photography as a Boy Scout. I did a merit badge in photography. And what really captured my imagination was the first time that first photograph emerged from its chemical bath wow. and from being just a plain white piece of paper became a luminous black and white photograph. Wow. And from there um, I continued my interest in photography. You see, I, I have built a couple of companies and sold them and I had a kind of a double career. Mm -hmm a career as a businessman, entrepreneur, and photographer. I've been shooting f photography commercially for uh, 38, 40 years. Wow. Uh, for advertising, uh, advertisements, brochures, people needing creative photography on a commercial basis. Really didn't spend any time doing uh, fine art photography, although I think some of the, the commercial art was really kind of fine art That's photography. Right. Then I started um, some fine art things, some shots and photography, and it matriculated into uh, this exhibition that, uh, that you currently are featuring <laughs> at the Evansville Museum of Arts History and Science. And boy, does that title make me happy. So from Boy Scouts to the walls of museums. Gary, that's so interesting. Thank you for sharing that. You bet. Why did you decide to photograph the bridges of Paris at night? It was through a mistake. I was out shooting in Paris one night, just mm -hmm. shooting uh, black and white shots and no particular thought in mind about what I was shooting, just looking for interesting things. Mm -hmm. I took a photograph of the uh, Pont Alexandre III. Mm -hmm. Pont means bridge in French. So the Alexander the Third Bridge, mm -hmm. which I think is the most beautiful bridge in Paris, and it's one of the most beautiful bridges in the world. Mm -hmm. When I took that shot, I accidentally overexposed it. I mean, I really overexposed oh. it. And as soon as it was, as it was uh, finished, I realized I had overexposed it. So I decided to underdevelop the film, following a, a concept that Ansel Adams described in his books. I did that. I got a nice looking negative, mm -hmm. I decided to print it. Mm -hmm. I printed it, the print came out, it was luminous, it took my breath away, it was just beautiful. And I thought, wow, why not shoot all 35 of the Paris bridges at night? Mm -hmm. And I thought further that, you know, that's going to take probably uh, the better part, about may, a year, maybe two years. That was mistake number two. <laughs> it took five years Oy. to do the whole thing. Then another extra year for the research into the history of the bridges, mm -hmm. uh, which was very interesting, but difficult to do because y there are a lot of things that uh, are on the internet that are not correct. Yeah. So I had to do it with uh, research in archives and books. I bought every book that could be found on Paris Bridges. Wow. But um, that's how the whole project began and came to fruition. Well, to quote a wise artist, there's no such thing as mistakes, only happy accidents. <laughs> <laughs> so with this exhibition being in Evansville, Indiana, when a patron comes through these doors, what do you want them to experience? Well, first of all, I want them to experience the thought that, that these are pleasing photographs, mm -hmm. that they emanate uh, 
an aura, a beauty that they don't normally see. Mm -hmm. But really also the thought that Paris has a lot to give. There's interesting parts of Paris. The bridges at night is something that even most Parisians are not familiar with. The time that it takes to look at all of these can help create a feeling in the person who's looking at the photographs of some of the beauty of Paris at night. Because there's the beauty of the bridges, but there's also the beauty of the ambient nature around the bridges. And the light and the shadow effects that cast a, an aura, a glow, at all of the all of the bridges and all of the surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. I hope that the people who come to see it feel that after they've seen it, they know a bit more about the city and a bit more about the beauty and a bit more about the the uh, vivacity yeah. of Paris. And that makes sense because when I think Paris, I think of the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, um, and the bigger monuments. And I like the fact that you're making us stop and reflect on what's around. And it's something ubiquitous as a bridge, but it's not. It's a work of art. And I'm glad that you're bringing light to that. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.